All right, Sydney Brown back again. Let's dig in now to the top 10 tips for successful blogging. Now, number one, obviously you want to define your goals, determine the purpose of your blog, establish clear goals, and you want to be able to guide your content and strategy toward that goal. Number two, choose a niche. So you want to select a niche or a theme that aligns with your interests, your expertise, your writing goals, um, because that will attract your target audience. Number three, develop a content plan. Now, creating a content plan means you're, you're going to outline topics, your posting frequency, promotional strategies to maintain consistency and keep your blog organized. Your content plan is very important and it, it helps your, your audience learn if they can trust you to be there for them at the pace that you show them that you will. Number four, engage with your audience. Now, obviously this to me is one of the most important because it encourages your readers uh, to interact with you through comments, emails, social media, and you respond back. You know, that's something that, that the new technology of, you know, the modern day writer, we have the ability to actually become friends with our readers. Now, in before, you know, the years and generations before, they either had fans or they didn't, but they probably didn't know their, their fans. They didn't know who was reading them. And it's, it's so much better nowadays because we're able to really get to know our fans. And, and I love that. Um, but engaging means you respond. So, so don't hesitate to engage back. Uh, now, obviously, if you have someone creeping on you or something like that, you don't have to, to be nice uh, if, they're, if they're being ugly to you. But if someone is just being nice and kind and, and, and loving on you, then yeah, why wouldn't you respond? Um, so engage with your, your audience. Number five, Utilize visuals. You know, one of the, the great things about having a blog is you can enhance your blog with relevant images, videos, or infographics that make your content more engaging or visually appear, appealing. So in a, in a regular book that you're writing, you may not have the photos um, that you would in your book. So it's kind of nice for your, your audience to be able to get to know a little bit deeper, more visually with, your, with what you're talking about and, and your niche. Number six, promote your blog. You know, you want to share your blog, uh, share the posts on your social media, share it in your writing communities. Uh, as long as you're allowed to, don't spam. Uh, and your email newsletters uh, increase the visibility any chance you can because it's that building and that attention building that you're creating that is also building your audience and then your future customers. Number seven, optimize for SEO. So when you implement SEO best practices, such as using keywords, headings, meta descriptions, you improve your blog's search engine rankings, which then, of course, builds your audience. Number eight, collaborate with fellow bloggers. Now, this may seem kind of counterintuitive because you may think of it as competition, but don't because there are so many readers out there and, and you really can benefit by helping each other. So connect with other bloggers in your niche for become you know, guest posts, interviews, joint projects, joint ventures, uh, to expand your audience and network. You help each other and your reader is, you know, they, they love you both, you're both pretty. <laughs> Number nine, monitor your analytics. Now, this may seem, seem a little bit overwhelming at first, but don't let it, don't let it intimidate you. Um, the analytics usually are, are pretty obvious and easy to follow. 
Uh, you want to track your blog's uh, performance using tools like there's you know Google Analytics to identify popular content, uh, audience demographics, different things like that. Once you know who who likes you the best, uh, who your you might be able to pinpoint your ideal avatar or your ideal client. Number ten, stay persistent. You know, and, and usually when I do these top 10s, my number 10 is almost always something about not giving up. Stay persistent. You, if you're going to do something, do it. Do it all the way. Um, one of my favorite life mottos is all in or nothing. Don't waste your time if you're not going to stick to it. It's better not to do something than to do it halfway. But stay persistent. Don't give up. If, if it doesn't build an instant following, that's okay. Give them time. They'll find you, but don't stop looking for other ways to build the audience. Um, the other thing, you know, just be patient, stay, stay connected, stay uh, committed, and your goals matter and getting your story out there matters. Uh, continually refine the, the strategies but never give up. All right, guys, there you have it. An overview of the benefits of blogging and uh, some writer tips for creating a successful blog. Now, ultimately, whether or not you need a blog, that, that really depends on you and your personal goals and your preferences. I really do believe that you should not start it if you're not going to stay, you know, committed to it. Uh, however, a, a blog can undoubtedly offer numerous advantages from honing your writing skills to building an online presence and connecting with your readers. Connecting with the readers being the most important in my opinion. As always guys, I hope you found some value here. Please like and comment below. Let me know what your, your best takeaway was. If you have any questions or would like to see other videos, feel free to ask down in the comments and I will absolutely look at, you know, the possibility of getting some more video content on here for you. Uh, if you would, please make sure you're subscribed. I do appreciate it and your subscription and likes helps keep this content free. I hope you follow me on just Sydney Brown pretty much on any social media and I look forward to getting to know you.